Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it on any of our awesome size videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will cover how changes in atmospheric chemistry impact the greenhouse effect, so let's, let's do this. Our learning subject for today is, I can describe and explain how changes in atmospheric chemistry impact the greenhouse effect. So how does the atmosphere resemble a greenhouse? That's a great question. Farmers use greenhouses to extend the growing season. A greenhouse traps heat. Days that are too cool for a growing plant can be made to be just right. Similar to a greenhouse, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere keep earth warm. When sunlight heats earth's surface, some of the heat radiates back into the atmosphere. Some of this heat is absorbed by gases in the atmosphere. This is the greenhouse effect. And as we stated earlier, it helps to keep Earth warm. The greenhouse effect allows Earth to have temperatures that can support life. Imagine how it would be if Earth did not have the greenhouse effect. Gases that absorb heat in the atmosphere are called greenhouse gases. They include carbon dioxide and water. The added gases have caused a greater greenhouse effect. Quick check for understanding. How do you think human activities have affected the greenhouse effect? And how do you think this affects Earth's temperature? Pause the video and take two minutes to write your responses. You got this. So what are Earth's greenhouse gases and how do they work? Let's first talk about how they work. Like a blanket on a sleeping person, greenhouse gases act as an insulation for the planet. The warming of the atmosphere is because of insulation by greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are the component of the atmosphere that moderate Earth's temperatures. Now let's talk about the different greenhouse gases, which include carbon dioxide, CO2, water vapor, H2O, methane, CH4, ozone, O3, nitrous oxide, NO and NO2, and chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. All are a normal part of the atmosphere except CFCs. The following table shows how each greenhouse gas enters the atmosphere. Notice that carbon dioxide enters the atmosphere by cellular respiration, volcanic eruptions, decomposition of plant material, and burning of fossil fuels. Methane enters the atmosphere by decomposition of plant material at times and biochemical reactions in stomachs. Nitrous oxide is produced by bacteria and released into the atmosphere. Ozone is released by atmospheric processes and chlorofluorocarbons are actually not naturally occurring and made by humans. They are released into the atmosphere as well. Different greenhouse gases have different abilities to trap heat. For example, one methane molecule traps 23 times as much heat as one CO2 molecule. One CFC12 molecule, a type of CFC, traps 10,600 times as much heat as one CO2. Still, CO2 is a very important greenhouse gas because it is much more abundant in the atmosphere. So what have human activities done to greenhouse gas levels? Human activities have significantly raised the levels of many greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Methane levels are about two and a half times higher as a result of human activity. Carbon dioxide has increased more than 35%. Chlorofluorocarbons have only recently existed. So what do you think happens as atmospheric greenhouse gas levels increase? More greenhouse gases trap more heat and warm the earth. The increase or decrease of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere affect climate, weather, organisms, and ecosystems all around the world. And that's our video for today. Now it's your job to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining how changes in atmospheric chemistry impact the greenhouse effect by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency Record your results and proficiency sheet. And if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep, keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day.